Hyun Woo arrives in the seaside town at the beginning of My Sweet Mobster Episode 5 when she spots Ji Hwan and Eun Ha. When he sees Eun Ha with Ji Hwan, he becomes agitated and begins to outline numerous situations to demonstrate how Ji Hwan's choice to bring Eun Ha along would have been detrimental to her. Ji Hwan requests that Hyun Woo bring Eun Ha back after deciding to part ways with her. As Hyun Woo continues to emphasize that Ji Hwan is a very dangerous man with whom she should not be involved, Eun Ha realizes on the journey back that he has a firmly held bad opinion of Ji Hwan. Driving Eun Ha home, Hyun Woo maintains that she shouldn't put her trust in Ji Hwan. A flashback shows why Hyun Woo despises Ji Hwan, believing he is dangerous and incapable of changing as he drives off. During a violent gang rampage at a funeral where a woman, Mi Jin's grandma, was hurt, we witness Ji Hwan, covered in blood. Eun Ha is left off at her house, waits for Hyun Woo to leave, and then departs to Ji Hwan's residence. At the gate, Jesu discovers her and grants her entry into the home. She quickly leaves after getting her luggage, and Ji Hwan speculates that the streets would be a safer place for her than his house when Too Young expresses worry about letting her go at night. Eun Ha finds herself at the sauna at night, where she meets Hong Ki, as she has nowhere to go when Mi Ho isn't returning her calls. Because he stole his seal and wrote Yina a fictitious contract to prevent her from accepting a promotion offer from a rival, he is running away from Ji Hwan. Hong Ki recounts Eun Ha how his father sold him off to pay off his debts, and Ji Hwan kept him safe from the gang. Later, Ji Hwan shows up in time to assist Hong Ki and Eun Ha after they get into a fight with several gang members at the sauna. Ji Wan feels disappointed in Hong Ki since he is aware of his poor decision making. He thus asks Eun Ha to accompany him home and drops Hong Ki off at the sauna. Ji Wan wants Eun Ha to stay at his house until she finds a new apartment because he no longer believes that the streets are safer than his home. Eun Ha offers to tutor his group members because she doesn't want to be a freeloader. The members, particularly Jae Su, find the situation quite unbearable, but Dong Yi believes it's a good idea for them to acquire their GED. Ji Wan cautions them that the tutoring must be taken seriously because there will be exams to determine whether or not they will be promoted or demoted at work. Eun Ha overhears a discussion among the group members while she explores the residence. They believe Ji Hwan should see that he erred in his assessment of Hong Ki's needs and that he is being too hard on him. Ji Hwan reminds them that while some may consider what he did to be an error, others may not feel the same way. They cannot afford to make mistakes since they would be held to a higher standard as ex-convicts. They must thus observe procedures and go in the right order. Later, Eun Ha and Ji Hwan engage in a conversation that causes Eun Ha's heart to race. However, Eun Ha brushes it off, speculating that it might have happened because she was ashamed. Later that evening, Ji Hwan believes Eun Ha to be a trespasser when she wanders around the garden where they used to play with Hyun Woo. When he asks her why she was around here that night in the rain, she tells him that the neighborhood reminds her of a certain individual from her early years. She therefore had nowhere to go the day she was evicted and only considered returning to the same neighborhood. Eun Ha expresses her happiness at running into Ji Hwan on that particular day. When Ji Hwan and Eun Ha first met the next morning outside their bedroom doors, he promised to present her to everyone at her greeting reception later that evening. Ji Hwan finds himself inadvertently patting Eun Ha's head throughout the talk. Hong Ki is at a restaurant when Eun Ha discovers him after leaving the house. She lets Hong Ki know that Ji Hwan cares about him and that anything he says is because he is worried, all under the guise of asking for the delivery money. Ji Hwan talks with Yi Na about the fake contract at the same time, and for Hong Ki's sake, Ji Hwan is forced to accept the partnership. Certain unique provisions in the contract require Ji Hwan to provide Yi Na with extra care over the duration of the agreement including making himself available for all of Yi Na's photo assignments and transporting her home. When Ji Wan asks if she is doing all of that for just 